March. <clears throat> Welcome to your February forecast. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look. Message for for this month. Ooh, intuition and manifestation. New beginnings. So there is one cycle that will be ending. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and another one will be, you know, will begin. Family, friends, and guides. Status quo. Transformation. Planning and action. You need to take an action into your plans this month. Uh, changes of status quo. That's, okay. Could be that there is also going to be an upgrade. Um, the death or rebirth, of course. That is the reason why there is a new beginning. Um, you already know what is actually best or what actually belongs to you. So family, friends, and guides. You know, it could be... <clears throat> There will be some family healing, family reunion, family get together, or it could be that there are also some, you know, responsibilities that you need to, you know, maybe choose to mend, sever, and, you know, just, just let it be, okay? Um, hidden motivations. Of course, you know, whatever it is that will be coming your way and that will also be happening, it seems like you just need to keep on motivating yourself and, you know, you just need to create that picture of inspiration, all right? That there is something that you, that you need to look forward to or that there is something that you need to cling on. Ascended Masters. One, uh, well, actually, most your guides are actually one of the ascended masters and teacher. So, it could be your star seed. Um, what do you call this? Like, could be that you're going through some hardships and some lessons in life right now for you to teach other people how to get through with it. Back and forth, deception, conflict. There is someone who's been backstabbing you, all right? This is like an ongoing thing. Could be it's just going to stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. And, you know, there is somebody that's been betraying you and creating some conflict right behind you. And you're going to find out who it is this month, okay? So... Let's take a look. Five of Wands, <clears throat> Conflict, Nine of Wands, Three of Wands, Six of Wands. You know, there is like a, you know, like a recurring situation, problem, or issue. Probably around your workplace, family, relatives, friends, neighborhood, okay? And this is just like going to start into, you know, it could be like it's just going to restart again. <clears throat> Somebody's manipulating people around you so that they will go against you. And you will intentionally have to go through this conflict again. But you already know how to get through with this. Okay? You already know how to, you know, like navigate your way out of this. Now, currently, it could be that there are some people, relatives, friends, that's been like bringing drama into your doorstep or bringing drama into your... Uh, <clears throat> okay, into your life right now, but you're being walled up, okay? Um, you are being defensive, protecting yourself, and you feel like, no, you know, I've already gone through this in the past. I know how to get through with this, and you're going to be very successful. Someone is actually lying. Uh, someone is very selfish and childish. Someone who's only after money. Someone is actually keeping a secret. 
okay? Um, you need to keep on working on your goals and ambitions. And it seems like you're the one who's going to be in control of everything. Whoever this person that's been like instigating a fight or, or you know, or instigating a, uh, like a conflict. Probably this is also a sibling, somebody from the past. Okay. Uh, this person will be... They're just, you know, they're not going to be successful in trying to pull you through and trying to, you know, pull you down to their situation. There will be a brand new beginning for you. Finances are also coming in. There is a brand new contract offer or opportunity that's going to be shining on you. Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Um... <clears throat> You need to prepare yourself, all right, uh, for an upcoming abundance opportunity or like an upcoming, uh, probably work, okay, or money resource. And but you you just need to keep this to yourself. People are actually gonna try and you know like create some drama. You know, just to distract you. But you need to keep your peace right within you. Alright? You're going to be in control of everything. Just don't let them get through to you. Probably you're dealing with a water sign. Or it could be that there are three people that are also creating some problems or dramas. Okay? This is like a family betrayal. Alright, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, let's take a look now. Your careers and finances. Whoa. Four of Swords. You're so stressed out. Something that probably you need to deliver. You need to hand over. You need to work on. You need to map out. You need to study first. You know? Uh, some contracts. Ooh. <coughs> You're good. <coughs> All right. There are some. Oh, wow. You are working on a project. Probably that is. Or you will be receiving, you know, like a brand new project, contract, or offer. That you will be requiring, you know, you to travel. Uh, <clears throat> probably some of you are also taking care of your visa, but, um, you know, there will be a successful takeover, all right, and you will be getting what you want. However, you know, what is this tower all about? The full, uh, there will be a little bit of, um, humps and bumps, you know, that you're going to be meeting and having a little bit of a setback when it comes to probably the main operation of this project and you know you're going to be getting the right help but the help that you will be getting is not from somebody that you want to work with so probably you just need to carry on and get on with it you know there's nothing i mean there's nothing that you can do um you will also be a little bit stressed out and really really tired okay this month there will be i'm seeing a lot of money coming your way getting what you want having a lot of success achievement completion uh brand new opportunity all right but this is going to be one hell of a like a hectic and busy schedule or busy um yeah busy month for you hmm It's like, you know, there are four or five big clients or big projects that you're going to be getting. And you're like, you know, you know, like you really need to split yourself into five or four just to get things done. But, you know, like at the end of the day, you will be able to get it done. See, six of cups. All right. There will be triumph. So don't worry. 
but I feel like you just need to prepare yourself for the, you know, for the next big thing. All right. Singles. Don't be such a player. Now, while you are playing around, you know, having a lot of options, being open. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Having two. Having two as well. While you're playing around, while you're like choosing and choosing and choosing, right in the middle of this, you're going to find somebody that's really probably the you know the most simple you know that you know when you meet somebody okay that is like different let's say for example this is a woman there's someone who doesn't wear any makeup you know hair is simple no uh, you know like no frizziness or something like that no need for any salon stuff you know, they just let their hair down naturally. Their beauty is also natural. No need to wear any thick makeups. And, you know, they, they don't really look like a clown. They just, you know, they just definitely look very simple. But, you know, this part of them having this mm, mysterious exterior, there's, you know, they're a real standout. And you can see that they are also a real game changer because they are not really the type of a person that plays any hanky pankies or something like that. And you're going to be meeting this person this month. Let's see. I feel like you're going to be with someone who is like a co-worker or could be... No, not a co-worker. This is someone that probably have the same line of work in the same industry or someone who could be in a neighboring office you're going to be meeting this person you know in the in your line of work i don't feel like that this is a client no but you're going to be meeting this person in your line of work all right and they're not going to be easy to please or they're not going to be easy to be impressed could be that you're the type of a person that catches a lot of attention and you're already used to it but this person is not the one that will be giving you what you want and that will become your challenge so you're going to be dealing with an earth sign water sign actually water signs you're just going to be playing around with them but this one is a, like an earth sign. Strong earth sign. Bit of a fire and air. Alright. Might be dealing with a Taurus. Alright. So this is the one that you're going to be ending up with. Um, something simple. We'll be starting off as a, probably friendship, okay? Nothing fancy, but it will go stable. Okay. You need to communicate, both of you, all right? Um, your person is somebody that you've met when probably childhood sweethearts or it could be that you really have this intense past life connection but there is something that you feel like you know probably you can't accept or probably that there is something that you have discovered and you feel like wow okay you need to communicate you cannot just let you know like you cannot just keep on going on and you know, not really address the elephant in the room. There is something that you need to rectify, something that you need to keep in balance. You're having some second thoughts, something that you cannot really accept, but I mean, it's all the package deal, right? So, uh, 
I mean, you know, on the inside, you're going through the five of wands. You're go you're already going through some conflicts, trying to balance things out. Okay. And right before you ask your partner about that question, you're looking for the answer right from within first. Instead of like going straight and not really jumping into conclusions, but you know, instead of you like assuming things. I mean, you already know the answer to some of your observations, but you're so afraid of still knowing the answer, you know, by asking them directly. So you need to communicate. By the way, finances are really looking good and better, okay? Some of you, I mean, okay, probably you're not yet married, so you're already, like, planning to get married, all right? That there will be a major communication, you're the one who will be um, having a control over the situation. But the thing here is, while you are not yet addressing whatever this is that's been bothering you, uh, I feel like it's much better for you to, you know, sit down and talk about this first before, you know, before maybe sealing the deal or finalizing everything. Alright, I mean, financially, the two of you are really going to be, like, really good together, alright? But what you cannot accept is that there is something that this person have lied to you about. And that is what you have discovered. Alright? That is what you have actually discovered. And yeah, this is something that's been stressing you out. Probably you don't want to hurt your partner. But you feel like, why? You know, you do have all of this. You know, like sometimes when we are actually, you know, solo, there are some voices inside our head and, you know, we start to rummage through our own analysis and you feel like you know you're feeling so devastated because you, you felt betrayed i don't know whatever this is that um because there is something that they're you know that they that they've kept from you and you discover this all right probably you're just trying to like take it lightly but every day it's been becoming more of a burden because it is a nagging feeling or it's like a nagging situation where you feel like why you know why am i not enough could be that there's also a third party all right <clears throat> Um, yeah, so it seems like that there is a betrayal, probably a third party, probably, I don't feel like that this is like an ongoing third party, okay, but could be it's something that really hurted you, all right, could be it's actually a secret, you know, it could be something that they've been leading a double life and you discovered like, wow, why are you keeping this from me? You know, I'm not going to be judging you. So, you need to talk because both of you are actually scheming. Both of you are actually scheming on one another. And both of you, I mean, the other one wants to tell you the truth and you wanted to tell the truth. So, at least that, you know, when it comes to that, you're in the same page. You need to talk. Okay? You need to talk. Alright. So... Let me in the world, not of the world. Focus on the light. Trust yourself. 
okay? You need to trust yourself about this. And, I mean, I don't feel like you're going to be separating because of this. But having this kind of secrets while the two of you are already together is not really good. Because you will keep on digging and discovering whatever it is that they've been hiding from you. So, it's much better for them to be honest, you know? All right. Now, don't self-medicate. Some of you might also have a hard time breathing. You need to protect your immune system. Your concentration this month actually looks good. You're going to be um, focusing more on your appearance, aura. Things seem to be healthy. You also need to take a break. I feel like you need to go out. Okay. You need to probably take some sauna um what do you call this like you need to let off some steam okay because your stress is actually coming out in your body or you know in whatever way it is and you need to have a balanced diet i don't see any major illness i don't see any major issues whatever it is that's already been in the past i feel like it will be dormant this month all right, you just need to keep a balanced and healthy life and regular exercise. All right, that's it for you for this month. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live on the call, just go visit me at my website, asafeangel.net. Blessings to you.